Have you ever built a scene with too many objects and you find yourself trying to find, select, or move only specific ones? Or perhaps you've created an awesome arrangement of interior furnishings and would like to reuse it in different projects. If that's the case, grouping is just the right tool for you. It's a simple and effective way of isolating and controlling collections of objects more easily. This tutorial will definitely give you an edge when it comes to having your scene neatly organized and easily adjustable. Let's take a look at the recently updated groups feature and I'll show you how to use it to facilitate object placement and overall asset organization in your projects. You can group pretty much anything in Lumion. Imported models, lights, effects, 3D characters, plants, you name it. And in Lumion 12, you can now also save these groups to your group library so you can easily access and use them in other projects as many times as you want. Simply select the desired objects, click on Create Group, and then on Save Group to store it in your group library. Just like with your imported models, you can set a name and create category folders for your groups. To load a saved group into different projects, simply go to Place Mode and select the group category to open your library. Here's a tip. This can also be a great way to save, organize, and reuse your custom decals or IES light profiles. Another advantage of groups is that you can easily move around the object selection icon. Let me show you why that is so very useful. Imagine that you want to animate this bench swing. It's way easier to rotate it and simulate that swinging motion if you position the origin icon right as if it was the pivot point or turning point. Let's fast forward the animation process for a bit. Here's the result. That looks great. And it was pretty easy to achieve thanks to the group's object selection icon being adjusted. But wait, there's more. It's now possible to use mass placement with groups. This is especially helpful when you want to quickly place a series of objects with lights or other effects attached to them. Last but not least, you can also now use replace and place groups on nodes, which can definitely save you precious time. The updated group feature in Lumion 12 is yet another step in the right direction for meticulous project organization. If you found this tutorial helpful, can you hook me up with a like and subscribe? That really keeps me going. Then follow me over to this tutorial on variations. Did you know you can make multiple model variations to explore different material selections without leaving Lumion? I didn't either. Let's check it out together. I'll see you there.